Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 5th of March. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Peer. And what a great day, Gary, to be sitting at number 13 Finden Avenue, right in the heart of Caulfield North. One of my favourite streets of Caulfield North. And a little bit of trivia for the watchers, the viewers. You actually tried to buy a house in this street a few years ago. I did. I wanted to get into this street very badly, Phil. This is what we call FNC, Philip. F F F N C. It's called Far North Caulfield. By far the most magnificent part of Caulfield North is right here, Phil, right near Dandong Road. You've got Armadale across the road, we've got High Street, Glenferry Road. It's all happening. And yes, I wanted to get in the street, and I think the street's probably better off without well, me. Well, suffice to say that you were outbid at the auction because you didn't have enough money, and it's pretty easy to outbid a real estate agent yep. uh, at an auction anytime because it's one of the gross, world's most grossly underpaid professions. I un don't un mind underpaid saying. and misunderstood people. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, talking about misunderstood, yeah. it's very, very very hard to take you seriously yeah. with this furry thing above your yeah. head. Now, what, what, what is going on today? Yeah, Phil, I, uh, I haven't had too many furry things above my head looking like that and uh, in my lifetime, but look, it's a different way of doing GPT. We're moving along, Phil. It's, it's become a big production. Look, I thought, big I, show. I thought we should show what's going on. We've yep. got Simon here on the yep. boom. We've yep. got Sean on camera. Yep. There's you and me. Yep. We've got the catering truck out the, the front. The makeup girls over there. Yep. For those of you the warm-up guy. For those of you that think that we just put this together, this show together on a shoestring, oh, no. it is, it's, oh, become it's, a, a, it's become big a huge production. thing. Let's talk about 13 Finden Avenue, Phil, because you're right, I did want to buy in the street because this actually is, uh, in my view, the best street in Corporate North. And I had the debate once with the valuer of the city of Monaira, and I said, what's the best street in Corporate North? And he said, Finden, Howard, Howard, Finden, Finden, Howard. He couldn't decide, but there's no question that it is either both or one of those streets. Brilliant street, Gary. This yeah. is the most incredible home, renovated really? by a builder for him and his family. Yes. A huge parcel of land. Yep. It's actually on the best side of Finden Avenue, Gary, yes. which is the west side. Now, this is yep. the best side, yep. unless, of course, I'm selling a house on the other side, That's much in which case that, that is a terrific side of the street no, that's as well. not true. But this is the better We side. are on the yeah. western side, yeah. which means we're getting all of this glorious sun coming in from both the north yeah. and the western side. And we have northern sun on our backs to prove the we point, Philip. Talk us through this home. This is the perfect family home. You've got all of the bedrooms, the most beautiful bathrooms, this stunning kitchen meals, family yeah. room, formal entertaining areas. But my favourite area, of course, is this infinity pool yes. gallery. It yeah. just seems to go off into the distance, yes. drops down over the beautiful back mm. garden. This is a house that is just the best home for entertaining. Not that we've actually ever been invited to a party here, but no. you know, you just never know our luck. Absolutely, we can recommend this one. We're looking forward to seeing you here at 13 Finden, and uh, it is a magnificent property. It is, Gary. Just move on in and enjoy it. And they don't come up often in the street either. That's enough about yeah. this house, Gary. We've got a lot to talk about today. Right. Let's talk about the weekend that was. Another huge weekend, not only in Melbourne, but yep. another huge weekend at Gary yep. here in Associates. I'm out of breath. Well, I'm, I should be out of breath because I did a lot of auctions on the weekend. You're but, full but, of wind. But, but so. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm full of energy, Gary. I'm pumped up because this is the most exciting job in the world. If you think about it, we've yeah. just had a weekend with 21 auctions, but the yeah. weekend before we had 20 auctions. Yeah. That means in the last nine days, yeah. we have had 41 auctions. You're talking very quickly. I, I am because I'm excited. <laughs> uh, we sold 17 out of 20 the previous weekend. We, we did. We just finished selling 15 out of 21 That's this right. weekend. We did sell 15, 71% against an industry clearance oh. of something around that 68%. So. A great weekend out there on the market, a great weekend for us. And Phil, we were selling them everywhere over no Melbourne. Way. From Malvern to Bentley, we were knocking them down, hammers were falling. Uh, there were some really big and very exciting results. Uh, I did sell one in Melbourne actually. Uh, on yeah, Saturday. in High Street, I believe. In High Street, Melbourne, the price is undisclosed, but you know, good property. It was. Um, it was very popular, very well sought after. Yeah, good on you. Um, some of the properties that we've reviewed here, one of them was 28 Park Street, Alstonwick, which we can't again disclose the price, but Pr price, price is undisclosed, but we had a great yeah. crowd, a great turnout, uh, yeah. and competitive bidding, really. I put yeah. in the first opening bid, which was a vendor bid of a million dollars, yeah. which is at the bottom end of our range, right from the start. Yeah. Uh, and buyers just flew. I think we had about four people bidding for it, sold it for in excess of the reserve price. Very happy buyers and very happy sellers, and a great result for the street. Now, the visual domain boys are out on the weekend with us filming some of those auctions. So you're going to see footage uh, coming through straight at you directly from the auction, Philip. Well, not directly. Well, not live from not the auction, live, isn't it? No, because, because the auction we couldn't were be doing both things ago. at the same time. Let's talk about Saturday at 2.30, Phil. We shot uh, GPTV at this home. It's a beautiful home in O'Loughlin Street, Ormond. If you're a buyer, here's a date and you missed this one. It's going to be a long, cold winter as you go from open for inspection to open for inspection saying, 
I wish I could have bought that 12 O'Loughlin Street. What a beautiful uh, house. And what a great was. auction. We held yeah. that in the back garden, Gary, because it had did. the most incredible back garden, yeah. swimming pool, al fresco yeah. area, in-ground trampoline, yeah. barbecue, two street front, yeah. great house, big crowd, uh, big and crowd. sold well. Are we allowed to disclose we the price We can disclose there? the price there, yeah. 1,560,000? Yeah, not yeah, bad. That's not bad. After all those sales, not bad. Yeah. All silence, all done. At 1,560,000, I'll show you how close we are, sir. I'll take a $5,000 rise if that helps you play. $1,560,000. And you are allowed to smile at me, sir. It's just an auction. Probably the most delightful vendors just about oh. on the planet. And they were, they, were, they were the yeah. people that put on a 50th birthday. Oh, I've said the number. Oh, yeah, a 50th birthday for celebration yeah. for you. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and thanks again, they were the most wonderful people, wonderful family. Yeah, beautiful home, great result, good luck to them. Uh, after that, Phil, we were in Poplar Street in Caulfield South. Yeah, uh, yeah. You did that auction, it was pretty popular, well, wasn't it? Well, that really summarises the changing face of the Caulfield yeah. South market, because that was a single fronted house. Yep albeit beautifully reno semi -detached, renovated, right? semi-detached, yeah. yeah. uh, beautifully renovated, and we yeah. sold that for a whisker under 900,000, yeah. it was 899,000, yeah. another $1,000, it yeah. would have been at 900, couldn't quite get there, Good uh, but well above yeah. the reserve. Good auctioneer you could have got 900 probably, for that, I reckon. Probably. You did, you did your best, I anyway, did but that's best. what counts. Uh, let's talk a bit about on Sunday, Philip. I started the day off uh, selling a unit in Anderson Street. That was really very popular and uh, sold very, very well. Uh, but then we moved on to 13 St Albans Avenue. How about well, that? Some footage of that. Only we yeah. could discuss the selling price there, Gary, yeah, we because yeah. we did sell it well in excess of the reserve yeah. price. That was a seriously, seriously yeah. sexy house. Yeah. And we've Hundreds talked, of thousands over reserve. We, we've talked about yeah. that, that house, and we talked about that being iconic 60s and 70s yeah. architecture, straight out of the Mad Men series, which yes. I'm talking a lot about at the moment, you Gary, are. because I'm just in love with that series. Yeah. I'd like to think I'm the Don Draper of real estate, having said that, he's tall, dark and handsome, and yeah. I'm not really very tall, <laughs> fair-skinned and red-headed, so yeah. I'm not quite sure we have that much strong in common. But Maybe having not. said that, great house, sexy yeah. house, and yeah. sold it for hundreds of thousands of dollars over the reserve, reserve yeah. price, and a really well-contested auction. Are we all finished? All silent? All done? Going? Going? Sold, ladies and gentlemen. Please congratulate the new owners. And thank you for attending another Gary Peer and Associates auction. Really well attended, busy, action-packed auction. Yeah, it was exciting. So good to see. One of the other auctions that was exciting that we knew would be, and you conducted this one, Philip, Six Oak Grove in St Kilda East. Talk to us about that one. That was unbelievable because that was an unrenovated, single-fronted house. Yeah. Before we congratulate somebody on the purchase of this house, I just want you to remember where you are. You are in the heart of St Kilda East, although the purest amongst us would call it Rip and Lee. This is a gorgeous place to live. We were thinking six to seven hundred thousand dollars for that property. Seven hundred was, I think, was the reserve on it the was, day. Yeah. They probably would have sold for a bit less, yeah. uh, and it just flew all the way to eight hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand yeah. dollars over the reserve, almost fifteen yeah. percent over the reserve. That's yeah. huge. One last opportunity, sir. Are you definitely out? Eight hundred. The bids there. Definitely out, sir. Anybody else holding back? Going to be sold now. At eight hundred thousand dollars, once at eight hundred, twice at eight hundred, third and final call, all finished, all silent, all done. At eight hundred thousand dollars, get ready to congratulate the new owner. Going, going, sold, ladies and gentlemen. The reserve did go up because the interest yeah. was significant, yeah. and the vendor yeah. saw that and then saw some of the yeah. other results and and they did move the reserve as they were entitled to, but uh, certainly didn't, uh, didn't deter anybody, did no, it? No, it was great, it was very great exciting. Uh, we finished off the day, and it was a late day and a long day, <laughs> and then I had to go to a wedding. Uh, that was fun on Sunday night. Where was the wedding? That was the life of the party, the zoo, actually. Cool. Was it the yeah, zoo? It was the zoo, yeah. Fantastic. So congratulations to Danny R. Bibb, who got married. Danny and Sarah, or Sarah, I should say, R. Bibb, who got married on Sunday night. It was at lovely. the zoo? They did get married at the Fantastic. zoo. The butterfly it enclosure? Great. No, it wasn't the butterfly enclosure. No. It was uh, some other enclosure. There were monkeys around us. Really? Good. Yeah, really? Yeah, 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 it was good. Really? Yeah, it was that. No, I just stuck a day in the office. It was like a day in the office. I felt very much at home there. That was an amazing option, Gary. Yeah. In in um, Holroyd Avenue, yeah, East St Kilda, which right. is a really gorgeous street, tree lined street. How many bidders did we have there? Four or five? Yeah, we had yeah. four bidders uh, and it went on and on and on. That was my yeah. last auction for the day. Keep yeah. in mind I've done a 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 yeah. 30, 2 30, 3 30 auction. All done! I'm looking at you and you're looking at me and I'm thinking, please bid. And you're probably thinking, oh, I might go out for coffee now. 
Don't feel bad for me, sir. I've been working since 10.30 this morning. Finished that auction so by the time <laughs> yeah. we actually did the post-auction negotiations, yeah. Yeah. got home at 10 past six on Sunday night. Yeah. A, a, a long, her heroic, Herculean effort. Yeah, I don't congratulations say. to the buyer and the seller of that house. A lovely home that went really well. A big week, Philip. Uh, lots of stuff going on out there in the real estate market. Uh, it's market's, got a good feel, hasn't market's it? Market's got a bounce together. Yeah, there's, there's, no, buyers, there's no question. There's the reason bidders, I'm pumped up is because it's exciting out there at the moment. There's lots going on, and uh, really, I, I, I mean, we saw this weekend again lots of company. There were some properties where buyers, however, they were prepared to stop. They weren't oh, yeah, going to go. Yeah. You know, we had one in Payne Street. We didn't really talk about that, but it was really a competitive auction. But everybody was sort of going up in thousands, and people were prepared to just cut and run. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're not sure whether it's really going ahead, you know, at 100 miles an hour, but it is going. Yeah. Still a market, Gary, yeah. where we've actually still got to work properly, don't we? We do, we do, and we've got to keep people informed as to what's going on in the real estate world. We'll continue to do that. I think that's GPTV. a wrap for this week, Gary. It is. We're all out. We're out of here. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. A little bit of a late edition because of the long weekend, Phil, but we will look forward to bringing you the latest, the news, all the things that are going on on GPTV. I'm Gary Peer. I'm Philip Kingston. Have a fantastic week. Bye.